Yes, hello, welcome back to more Long War of the Chosen. We've got ourselves a juicy mission here, as in find enemy flight paths. Menace one five. We've got a bead on the advent data vault near your position. Be advised, self-detonating charges are in place at the target. Move to disarm and extract the package before its contents are destroyed. I have to say, uh, one of my favorite changes. Um, between Long War 2 and Long War of the Chosen is the um, basically leaving behind the whole difficulty by ob obfuscation um, philosophy and actually naming missions what they are. Like, um, because in, in Long War 2 this used to be just a find a lead mission with an intel reward and you would just have to know that oh yeah, if nothing specified and it's an intel reward then it's either a liberation or, or a UFO precursor um, and now it's actually all you know start liberating region find flight paths etc so moving out we've got an enemy squad here certainly more interesting okay vanguard uh drone hunter drone and an arco all right that's a that's a statement for the first group here Don't see the Archon, but I think I can can go over all the way over here. Maybe we can get a trench cut off. Next turn. Holy mobility! What the hell? Twenty two? Who did that? <laughs> Who gave you all that mobility? That's crazy. Okay, we're gonna get pulled aside by the by the cops here. It's like, ah, do you know how fast you were going? You're probably gonna tell me. Uh, on my way. All right, I think you should never, uh, if you know. Get stopped and, and ask this question as in, do you know how fast you were going? You should never say no, because then they're like, well, you're not paying attention to your speed when you're driving? That seems, that seems like a not the thing you want to be doing. Here I come. Um, anyway. Let's just, just group up here. So I want to go this way. Okay, so nasty group up top, nasty group here on the side. That drone is not part of that group, huh? Is that what I'm picking up, what you're putting down? They're any certain if I go here, I should be able to flame throw these two. Like old times. Um. Yeah, I think we need to quick burn because I don't know where those guys are, and I don't want to be in it this easily flankable position. Go in a hostile. Alright, got the double burn. That's great. Although it doesn't really matter all that much again with the Archon, but he's panicked anyway, so to do. Uh, no windows in the back though, so we can definitely move in here. I 
I move here, this might activate. Kind of a good position to deal with the Archon. Ah, let's just see. Actually, get a trench gun on both of you, even though I don't see the the guard of the vans. No? You're not giving me anything here? Come on, after all we've been through together. Good running gun here for the trench gun. The CCS shouldn't fire. This is burning. The roof is on fire, so it might cause some issues next turn, but that sounds like... Like a problem for next turn, Commander. That is that. Is that. Ooh, and we got combat rush. Nice. Yeah. I mean, running gun is kind of a good cooldown to have. I will survey that area. But well, that's fairly useful on an assault. Raiders roll. As a bright summer day. Now I know I would trust the source that we have a group here sitting behind the building. I'm on it. I don't know where exactly they are, but if I can get a flashbang behind the building, then sure, why not? I mean, after all, why, why shouldn't I keep the ring? To be precious. What? Don't think that did anything. Sometimes it's about sending a message. Oh look, running gun is back. Okay, so who's gonna be the one giving the bad news to those guys here? Sure, what the bad news are. Um, can I just do I just okay? I mean, this squad is built to be aggressive, right? So, do I just you know open the door and then get back inside and then we'll see, we'll see what we have to deal with uh, on the other side? We've got two assaults with running gun available, we've got grappling hook and all the other skirmisher shenanigans in an officer. Alternatively. I'm not in a bunker buster position. Okay. Uh, you know what? Sure. I'll do a song and dance for you. Hello. Let's make these guys sorry they show That's up. that's not the mutant group. <laughs> well, it's also the mutant group. All right. There's a little bit of uh, fuck around and find out. Find out, uh, yeah. But I think those those stun lancers and the snake here. If that's not a perfect perfect trench gun target, uh, look, trench gun is available again. Then I don't know what is. So we can trench gun out of this. So we need to find a solution for the mutant elite and for the officer. Let 
Yes, you can deal with the mutant elite. Probably running gun into stun gun because that's 33. It's gonna be dicey without rapid fire. Oh, we also have a sidewinder up here. Forgot about that little detail. So we can implacably move to a flank on the officer, shoot him, but that's also not going to kill him. Um. <clears throat> like the question is, how aggressively can I position Emily here to to actually get the the best possible trench gun on A3? Alternatively, um, Emily could. Do the running gun here on the mutant elite. Ooh, I like that plan. And you do the trench gun because you get untouchable afterwards. But you can actually go here. That's some sort of cover. Any shortcuts? You might have to go here to actually get the right angle on everything. Count me in. That's what we call cleanup. Actually, it's not the plan. I mean, we do have eighty percent to credit. No, 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 no. It's just I don't. I don't think. I always get my target. Don't think you get the thirty-three. Not without lethal. Only concern now is I don't want to activate even more stuff here, right? I guess I can grapple. So I could grapple here so that my line of sight to this part of the map would be blocked by this. I can only grapple there. What's the worst that can happen? I could have probably moved somewhere where I could then command and then finish him off right now. Only one I could command is you, but what you gonna do, huh? But also, like, untouchable here. Battlefield awareness there. I don't think we care about the officer. We can't get a flank on him. No, I think, I think we're just gonna do the important task of picking up that loot up here. Hopefully without burning to death next turn. Anticlimatic. Oh no, in Overwatch, what are we gonna do?
Is that not... Target preview does not tell me that I'm getting into line of sight here. I guess I know I'm not seeing him right now. Objective to hack. Um, it's a hack mission. <laughs> we need to throw our own evac outside. Get back to my own world. This is fire ah, the little evac details. Hold tight. I will survey that area. This was an inevitable outcome. Sounds like a plan. So we don't have um, close encounters or any, any any double shot thing here. So actually getting the damage in on the Muton alone with Emily is going to be impossible. You know you That's why we got fan fight. That just triple crit on that fan fire. Sir, so we have somebody who can just pick up, run, run after the squad and pick up all the loot. Where's the fire? I think I'd rather stand out in the open and pick up the loot than get set on fire next turn. I have the asset. Mm, but hyper reactive. Okay, one more group somewhere out there. Let's kill him. Got it. Oh, found them. Okay. Got some kind of death witch or something here. Yeah. Like that. Had a worthy opponent in you. No two ways about it. Yeah. Let's migrate over there. Challenger has expired. Well, I guess. Pronto. Ten four. Can wait there for the evac, hack the thing next turn, and get out of here. Oh, hang on, there's still something on the map. What? 10 to 12, 11 kills, Zolo drone. Somewhere. Right. It certainly got its attention. We have the key card. Not Jello Cash, go. Charges are inactive and the package is secure. Eliminate any remaining hostiles near the AO. Secure package right here, Bradford. Um. Anytime you're ready. Drone here. Do we not have a drone here? Excuse me. Excuse me. On the move. I just want instant turns, yeah. Don't you hate it when your trigger finger that. gets all itchy? Let's do this. Not over. Come 
it so. Fine, I'll look into it. Science demands a repeatable outcome to any given experiment. Hence why I am here, and you are there. Damn it. I mean, well, technically, I want the XP on you. But it's so much easier to get it on you. Already moving. Nothing personal. Teamwork. Let's try this. You have the power. On the move. Raiders roll. I'm ready. Heading out. They're bringing in reinforcements. Reinforcements. I'll make it happen. Kind of cute. I don't think we're staying for that. Observing this area. Covering now. It didn't fire activate. Fire. Time to go. I mean, can't leave like this. There's, there's like certain rules of engagement we have to respect, and one of them is don't fly home with a bunker buster. Got something special for you. We've got Advin here. So, hey, we haven't taken any offensive action with Mason. Enough playtime. I'm gone. Avenger, this is Firebrand. Package is secure. All XCOM operatives are secure. Firebrand is returning to base. I enjoy playing these uh, hyper aggressive squads, and that was certainly uh, a good mission for that. Team mission, got all the loot, got all the kills, got the mission reward, which is not supply drop available, which is landed UFO 7 days, 11 hours. So we definitely want to delay it by 5 hours here. Right. Central claims to have seen one of these things up close back in the day. Despite a lot of speculation, there was no pilot to be found once we pried it open. Oh, not too heavy armor now. Because we don't have 50 supplies. Alright, okay. Um, I think we can actually do alien encryption and accept that we have currently higher intel costs. So, eh, annoying. Do we did we kill the Berserker Queen? Like, kill kill? Did we encounter her a second time? I already forgot. I think we did. Yeah, no, that's why the autopsy is here. Uh, no, hang on, no, that's Berserker Autopsy. Berserker Queen Autopsy. Unlocked. But, uh, no, I, I'm, I'm confused. Um, actually, let's do Gatekeeper, because there's a good chance we find a Gatekeeper 
on the UFO and then we could get an alien Siamp or an Arc Blaster. This okay. Shut up, I don't care. Permanent resilience codex? Yeah. That's annoying. A little bit of supplies so we can actually get our guys equipped. So if we wait 20 hours and we have barely a six day timer for the UFO. Which probably mean spending 40 intel because of, of the dark event to boost it. But we could get um, our officer trained and speed up a little bit more. Setting course for Brazil. Not like this is the only opportunity for that, right? So I was saying earlier that this squad looks like a supply raid and by extension also U of O raid squad. And I think uh, training up our, our Reaper has not really too much stuff that helps with the, the Chosen. I guess Center Mars is going to be, you know, plus one damage on each shot of Banish. So yeah, um, anyway. Can we bring more people? Who do we want to bring and why? We probably want to bring Breslin here. That puts us exactly at the clock. Let's make weapons available. Grab a Spram gun for you. Armor available. Get you a nice little suit of Warden armor. You're equipped. You're, yeah, I don't care about the Hollow Targeter. I probably don't care about your shorty. Oh no. I guess we need to make utility items available. I'd really like dragon runs on here. Do we get your how much for plasma shorty? Fifty three five one. You never know when you need to walk up to a mutant and Tell him up close how you think about him. We you know on the dot here with the timer, so I think we just take this. Um, do we switch this out for dragon if we if we go for the shadow strike saturation fires? That anything that survives is hopefully on fire then. Or we could pick up tenon ones. 
This way we have even more crit chance. So we're assuming everything's out in the open. So base crit chance of 40. Uh, plus 50 from Shadow Strike, plus 10 from Talon. Guaranteed crit on everybody. Definitely need magazine for you. Then again, does the weapon, does the beam cannon, the, the, the beam cannon have innate crit chance? No. I'm not 100% sure. So, plus one damage on critical hits is obviously inferior to plus one damage all the time. Right? Um, so, 10% crit chance versus 50% chance to set the enemy on fire. I'm kind of leaning towards the fire because the crit chance I can get with a with a mind merge, right? If I do the shadow strike, I'm probably either gonna do mind merge or get some anyway. Uh, so I think this is the better choice. Ah, infiltrate that. This way we don't have to spend the intel for the boost. Sky Ranger deployed. In position for deployment. If we would have gotten like an eight day timer, then I probably would have waited for this training, but this way, this way we had to do it uh, that way. All right, I think from the jailbreak, and I don't know, 10 days ago, I never put the people on Intel. Oops. Breakthrough. Commander, the aliens are still moving forward on the Avatar project. Taking out that facility would deal a serious blow to their efforts. It's just that serious blow. Um, why did we just stop scanning? Strength is down to one over here. I mean, that's cool and all, but we re didn't reach 100% here. I don't know. Sometimes I don't know. We're not getting better timers with the liberation. Um, what if we just... Oh, but that's a, that's a VIP extract. I was going to say our, our aggressive squad we just had. We just bring this here and, and, and power us through this. Like boosted, obviously. Uh, let me just see here. So yeah, Mason's Majin, squad with you, you, and you. So on a boost, we it would be ten to twelve. It's the thing is, um, you know, it's it's lip two, right? So we either get to do that on one armor remaining. So I guess we have to build the one if I want to have one here on on Emily, and I kind of do. So we either power through it now, um, or strength is gonna go up even more. Right, it's already at, at strength four. 
and then it becomes probably impossible to liberate this. And then we either have to pay a lot of intel to make contact down south. Uh, pay a lot of money to get the radio tower here. And we, we need to contact the black side region, right? This is... <coughs> We're not just screwing around here. Oh no, I often screw around in the late game. No, no, this is uh, necessary in order to win. We need to uh, uh, unlock the region of the story campaign. So, I'm okay with boosting this. Sky Rangers, we're in the pipe, five by five. And now we are at a hundred percent over here on that smash and grab with a fresh squad of six people two specialists on a smash and grab completely unnecessary anyway um seven to nine smash and grab hopefully easy mission coming up in the next episode and maybe maybe i'll even remember to pick out all the crates we'll find out next time thanks for watching and i'll see you then